Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the CTT total counting and up on my screen here we have our manual and only specific pages of the manual will actually apply to this uh, unit or this uh, function that we're going to program which is the total input up mode, uh, output mode N is what we're going to program. So we're going to have the uh, up counting so our count one pulse is on the leading edge and uh, with CP2 um, off and CP2 when it's on it inhibits the count from CP1 and on CP2 as it counts on the trailing edge and CP1 when it's on uh, will allow it and when it's off it inhibits that count value. So that's how the input mode up works. Then we have on the total counting mode we have our output modes F is the first one so these are different versions or variety of what this is trying to do and then we have our mode N which is what we're actually going to program so we can see here that as we count up it uh, it counts up on our set point and then our output uh, 1 and 2 will uh, turn on the same and then uh, when it reset it resets the count and then we start over again now on the total side, you'll notice that um, it just keeps a running total of our actual uh, count value until we actually hit the reset two, which then resets that total count value. So that is how it, um, the mode N works on our CTT uh, total counting. And then we have mode C, and there's a, a variety of different modes with different variations as mentioned before. Then we have our wiring diagram or counter wiring examples, and this is how we actually wire the actual unit and our input signals. Then we have our dip switch settings. Now, not all modes of this uh, digital device has uh, dip switch settings, but this particular one does, so you can set that up. And then we have a keypad parameters that we can use to actually program the unit. So let's just do that now. And if we hit and hold the mode key, for three seconds it goes into our programming mode and the first thing we have is our counter mode which is correct then we hit mode again it shows us our total which is what we want then we have our input type which is up next we have our output mode which is going to be n which is what we want then the next if we hit the mode you will see we have the speed. Now the speed is set for 200, meaning 200 counts a second. We go up to 10,000 counts a second. However, what we do is we have a relay controlling our uh, input to, to our digital counter here. So 200 would be fine. We hit um, mode again. It goes into our decimal point. This we can specify where our decimal point is on our display. Next is our prescale. And this actually will allow us to put in a value that represents what each of the count represents. So this could be length, um, it could be rate, um, number of different things. So we, we scale it to engineering units that we want to display. Hitting mode again, we have power options and we have it set for save. So that means that the total count and the um, set value of our counter um, is actually saved when we have power turned off to the the digital counter and then we turn it back on they still remain there and once again our reset is 20 milliseconds we hit mode again and we have our input type which is PNP which is the way we wire this unit up hitting mode again goes back to our same uh, back to the beginning again and we go through it once again um, hitting mode and holding it for again three seconds goes back to our run mode and we can see our count currently is set for 10 and if we hit the mode again you'll then see total appear and this will show us a total count of of everything that we've counted so far so hitting mode again we'll go back to the uh, set value and what we'll do is just turn on the input pulse and we start counting up to the set value when we get to the set value the outputs turn on as expected just as we see in our diagram here then we can hit the reset on the one and it goes back to zero now if we check the total okay our total is 10 which is correct because we have 10 so far okay. 
let's just turn off that reset and we'll uh, continue with another count and we'll go up to uh, 10 again it'll turn on the outputs again there we go turn it off and then we can um, reset that and once again we'll start it then we'll stop it okay so now we have uh, four on our current count on our total we have 24 which is correct now if we want to reset that total count as we see in here we have to hit reset number two so hitting reset number two uh, what will happen is that total then will zero again which is exactly what we expected now going back to the first count there's four and we can continue to count if we want to and that goes up to 10 okay. and on our total we should have six which is exactly what we expect now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information you can subscribe to our youtube channel you can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website when you do notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site you'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging and the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site all right that's it for now thanks for watching